What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Friday. Uh, no overtime tonight. Uh, I had to paint the whole deck today, and my deck was like an upstairs unit, and then I had to come down the stairs and all that, so I'm a little beat. Got a show in the morning, and got a bunch of packages in the mail that I got to review cards for PSA and stuff like that. So, uh, sorry guys, no overtime tonight. I am beat down from uh, having to stain the whole deck. <laughs> Uh, but big news tonight. Uh, what is this? About 7.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tatis suspended 80 games for testing positive for a PED. I just happened to catch this. I've been meaning to do a video now for about an hour, and I keep getting side distracted because I had to charge it up Dream Crusher here. Go Dream Crusher. You guys like her. Um, but it says here that he took a medication to treat ringworm that contained cholesterol, which is your PED. And it says basically he should have used the resources available to him in order to ensure that no banned substances were in what he took. He failed to do so. Not good because, I mean, 80 games take them all through this year and good chunk of next year. I'm guessing roughly, I don't know how many games are left this year that they were going to pull him up from uh, like double A, triple A, and all that stuff, or whatever the rehab is. But what do we guess? About 40, 50 games next year, at least 50 ish. I mean, that's a good chunk of the season. I mean, the Padres did go out and get Soto. They still got Machado and a bunch of other uh, uh, players on the team that could help them out and stuff. But they were really hoping to get Tatis back. And lo and behold, this happens. Guy's been, uh, you know, he's a good player from what I've seen and watched. A lot of hype behind him, of course. I know a lot of people who were holding cards of his all year. And they were just getting ready here. I think it was like, it was the next week or the week after was the prediction for rehab and all that. I forget. But to start uh, pounding away and making themselves on him. Now I'm going to have to hold him even longer. Probably till what, probably next summer. I'm just thinking offhand, 50 games. Probably puts it, what, in June-ish time frame maybe. But wow. Because I'm just thinking how many games are left. I didn't pull up their schedule for this year. I don't know how many people caught this. I know it's probably big news out there and stuff. Uh, a lot of people who are heavily invested into Tatis were really hoping to, and this is just going to put it on the back burner. I'm not too sure if that, what it means. This card's going to drop, stay the same, maybe go up. Who knows offhand. <laughs> the world and the hobby that we now know it, at, a.k.a. market, is ever so changing. All the time. Been noticing a lot of different trends on this stuff. Uh, this here, my guess would be cards will slowly go down a little bit more. Maybe people start buying them. Long hope is sometime next year he comes back in super stud. Hopefully he doesn't get that second violation onto him for anything else. Because it would just be a very, very, very bad look overall. But what do you guys think? I mean... Craziness on to it. I'll tell you that. 80 games. For some reason, I, I thought it was uh, a different number in my head, but 80 is now starting to sound right as I've been saying it out loud more and more. But uh, what do you guys think? He comes back sometime next year. Hopefully he stays healthy during that whole time frame, doesn't hurt himself. You know, nothing else. Misfortune happens to him. He comes back and plays some ball again. Might be good. Because like I said, during that hype, man, everybody was watching Tatis nonstop out there. That was like the guy in baseball. And I think now, I don't know who it really is. Is it Julio? I mean, Wander's been out. I don't know if he's back in the lineup or not. But, yeah, big ding for one of the faces of baseball out there. All right, guys, I'll try to get some footage from the show tomorrow. Um... I may do whatnot this weekend, depending if I can get through all the pre screen these cards. If I do, I'll put that up. I do a video coming out about trade night that will be on Discord. I think we said September 17th for it. I have to double-check that. I'll put that into a video. And then also, since we're starting preseason week one, I'm going to hit up about the NFL Gridiron, which will start that contest the last week of the preseason. So, other than that, guys, take care of a good weekend. Catch y'all later.